there's a confirmation of Johanna Mazur making it through to the final of the women's 200 meters T11 as the quickest athlete. Sami Kalina will go very close to that gold medal. Could be a great battle between the two of them. Well, the next track action involves the big, beefy wheelchair competitors. Leo Pecatati goes in lane five here. The three-time Paralympic champion over 100 metres. A real legend of Paralympic racing. The flying fin, they call him. Look at the size of those shoulders. T54, so this is the highest of the wheelchair athletes, those with the most upper body function. Pekatati's record is incredible over the 100 metres. He's joint third in the world rankings this year with the 34-year-old Briton Richard Chiasaro. He starts on the outside. Both of them have gone well over the 200 metres this year. And the significant fact about the men's 200 in the T54, there is no Kenny Van Vigel here because the Dutch have elected not to compete. So, first three plus two fastest losers. Pekatati in five, Chiasaro of Great Britain in six. Ganzai of Russia go in three and Adelaide of France in four. But the two men on the outside should dominate this semi-final. Well, Pekatati's legacy as one of the great all-time sprinting wheelchair performers is already guaranteed but he's still hungry for more success he's gone sweeping past Cesaro that shouldn't matter too much it's very generous qualification here Pecatati and Cesaro are away and clear Adelaide of France is in third and look at this Cesaro coming through for the win Pecatati easing up 25 28 the unofficial time there for the Briton 10th in Doha over the 100 meters last year that was a really good push there from Chiasaro. Yes, OK, Pecatati was easing up towards the line, but it certainly ensures Chiasaro will get the pick of the top lanes come the final, and the Briton has a great chance to get in amongst the mix here. Remember, no Kenny Van Vigel, but that was an excellent push by the Briton, and maybe Pecatati won't have the final all his own way. I'd written the result down, I'd put Tati down as the winner, and then all of a sudden Cesaro thought, oh, no, you don't. The man who didn't make the British squad for London 2012 is it was felt he had no medal potential. He's got big medal potential here. Leo Pecatati was easing up, and he finishes in second place, and he wasn't expecting that. Cesaro, obviously, is a big point to make to the national selectors, and you know what? He's made it. Two races and one there, really, between Cesaro and Tati for the victory. Championship record from Richard Chiasaro. He's certainly in the mix for the medals. Pecatati in second, and Adelaide has taken the third automatic spot. Ganzai will have to wait to see if he goes through as the fastest loser.